Okay, this right here just might be the most amazing filter system I've ever discovered for hybrid shooters. Yeah, let's go take a look at that. If there's one thing you know about me is that I consider myself both a cinematographer and a photographer. I am a hybrid shooter. And as such, I find myself today in lots of ways with lots of my clients who want and demand that I can get both high quality video and professional photography. It's no longer an either or thing. I find myself more and more on sets today needing to get both for my clients. And I think this is really something that as we go and continue to filter in this social media age, you as a shooter are going to have to be demanded to be able to do more and more. And one of the things that really helps begin to set your production apart, either in photography or video, is you're going to want to start using filters on your lenses. Now there's lots of different filters you can use to take you in lots of different directions, but there's no doubt once you start getting more professional and start getting paid for your work, you're gonna start employing these in some capacity on your lenses. And this really leads to a problem because you can really grow these things out of control. And what's incredible is Freewell recently contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing their Freewell Magnetic VND System Kit. And look at this, this is the kit. Everything you need comes in this one box. And this is an incredible box. I'm gonna tell you all the stuff that comes in there. Now, the first thing you need to do when you look at it is that this is, Magnetic. It is a seven in one filter system that uses magnets to apply the filters. Now, this seven in one filter actually covers 20 different functions. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them up here just so you can see it. But you can see you got a VND two to five, you got a VND six to nine, you got a CPL, you got an ND32 slash CPL, you've got a glow mist filter, you've got a VND with the mist two to five, you got a VND with the mist six to nine. And what's incredible about this system is it allows you not only to quickly get these things on and off, but allows you to mix and match and create combinations of filters. And it's this ability to mix and match these filters together so easily and so quickly that in my opinion, really sets this system apart from basically almost any other system that I know that can get even close to this on the market today. Another thing about it that I think is really important if you're gonna be using these, because I tend to take these out in the field, it's a well-constructed aluminum, and they really feel, by my hands and when I've got there, they just feel like they're well-made and they're comparable to the premium filters that I usually work with on the market. And there's one note I gotta say about filters that I think if you've ever shot, you probably are really well aware of this. Don't cheap out on filters. There's no need to have a beautiful $2,000 piece of glass and then ruin it by putting a crappy filter on the front. You need to make sure you have filters that don't ruin your expensive glass. So getting quality filters is one of those things that you just don't ever wanna cheap out on and make sure you get really, really important. Now, before I really get into this system of filters, I do wanna cover why does an ND matter to you if you're a videographer and why NDs matter if you're photographers. And really, if you're a videographer, NDs are a critical, critical tool that you're basically gonna have most of the time, anytime you're shooting. And the reason for that is we are going for a 180 degree shutter angle on your camera. And for most of you that would interpret at about a 1 50th of a second shutter speed on your camera because we wanna have natural motion blur on our video. We don't wanna look like Saving Private Ryan. We wanna have a natural sense of movement to our video. And because we like shooting at wide apertures like 2.8 or if you have primes even faster than that, we need to have something that can bring the light down on our sensor and let us set the camera settings so we can get artistically what we want, but we need to darken the actual light hitting the sensor. So this is absolutely critical. Now, if you're a photographer, NDs actually have a very, very important use too. One, there is a creative component because it allows you to slow the shutter speed down. So with a combination of aperture, you can really slow the shutter speed down. This is great for long exposures, which is absolutely critical. And another area where I find NDs have really mattered to me as a photographer is when I am using off camera flashes. Now, most of your cameras will probably have a max sync speed, your flashes of at 1 200th or 1 250th of a second. So you need to have a filter on your camera if you're using off camera flashes, which is critical for any kind of commercial uh, model or even 
product photography, you want to have something that you can use your flashes and not have to rely on high speed sync because that's much more taxing on your system and uses up your battery more. So having an ND that can slow your shutter speed down to like one two hundredth of a second or so really allows you to extend your battery life in the field and use these flashes to get professional looking photography in the field. And that really brings me here to the Freewell system and what makes it so good. I, I think there's no doubt that you need to have some kind of filter system when you're going out in the field. And what I love about it is this is the size of the Freewell system. It literally fits in this little tiny case. I can slip it right into my photo vest, pop it out. I have it in the field. It's also got a little uh, hook right here. If I want to hook it around my neck, I could wear it that way too. It's just really easy to have. I can slip it in my camera bag and I don't have to worry about it. And with having 20 different options inside this little tiny box, that is awesome for me. This is definitely one of the number one things I look for. I don't want to be dealing with a lot of stuff when I'm out in the field. And this little box definitely makes it. Now, the first thing I want to look at when you look at this that I think is a very overlooked thing when people are talking about filters, and you'll discover this as you go and buy filters, is this. This is the lens cap to the Freewell system. And what's awesome about it is the lens cap is magnetic. Now, what I love about this is almost every ND, as a matter of fact, I can't think of any ND system that I've ever had, I've never been able to put a lens cap on it because ND filters are going to be bigger than the lens that you're putting it on. And that means you can't put a lens cap on there and you can really never put a lens hood on there. So when you're walking around there with this expensive piece of filter glass on the front of your lens, it is exposed to the elements. <laughs> I'll be honest, I have personally destroyed three ND filters in my life walking around and bumping in stuff and scratching it. And having this peace of mind to just snap on there so easy and protect my filter system this is amazing to me. This by itself is almost worth it for me, but I love this that it has it on there. Now, when you look at the actual Freewell system itself, it has a two to nine stop extended range. And when you look there, there's actually on the base, you can have this. This is the VND base that you can put in there first. Now this VND base is awesome. Let's say you just need to start off with just one stop of light. This variable ND base just gives you one stop of light right off the top. So if you just need that one stop of light, this can do it. And you can actually take out everything and have no, just no filter on there. So if you wanted to be walking around just knowing that it's there and not have anything in front of your lens, you have that option. Then you can pop this out and go to go. Now, to use the NDs, what you need to do is you need to first pop in the first VND base. And you can kind of see an icon here, an icon here. I'm just gonna put that in. And look at that, it slips right in with a magnet. Now, what's awesome about these filters too is they are reversible. So if you look here, I have a two to five stop ND filter. But if I flip it, you will see that it becomes a standard circular polarizer. And how to use this is very, very intuitive that I really like. If you look on the front there, it'll tell you what you're looking on. On the six to nine, this is a six to nine stop. And on the back side, you will see it says ND32 and a CPL, so you'll know exactly what you are. Make sure that the one you want is facing outward toward you, because at the end of the day, if I'm looking at the front of the camera, I wanna know what I have on there, and so this is very, very intuitive. You literally just put what you want on the outside, and it's good to go. The other thing that's great, if I show you the back of the variable NDs, you will see right up here a little ridge, and that's only on one side, and what's great about this is this allows you to have hard stops on your ND filter which is amazing. And really all you gotta do, you can look here and see the numbers and they're actually little arrows here on the side. All you gotta do is line these up and boom, it pops right on and look at this, that hard stop that I told you about, it just locks in, the filter will not let you go any further than that. And this is absolutely, absolutely essential in avoiding the dreaded X of death on your variable ND. For those of you that have ever used variable NDs, you'll know if you stretch your thing too far, you will get a big black X across your footage and it'll ruin your shot. What's great about these Freewell filters is they literally have hard stop built in. And I also like it because I can just feel, I don't have to look at it, I can just feel and know where I am. Am I at the six stop or am I at the nine stop? I really, really love that. Now, I can also pop this off. Let's say that's too much. I can literally come up put my two to five stop on there right there, I can pop that right on and boom. And once again, you can see I have the hard stops once again built in to my ND. 
This is really, really powerful and it's really great. Now, additional to the VNDs that this whole system comes around, which in my opinion, honestly, is probably just enough to make this system awesome just from the start, Freewall also has this. This is a misting filter. And what's awesome about it, it's actually a misting filter that serves as a variable neutral density base. So it actually takes off one stop of light in there. Now, if I pop off the VND base, I can now put the one stop mist on there. And what is awesome about this is when I put that on there, now I have a mist filter on my lens. Now, right now I can start it off. Let's just say I want it on there with a one stop. That's it at the base. But let's say I want to come on and let's say I want to put in this six to nine stop. What's great is I can do the same thing. I can literally put that on there. And now I have a variable ND that has a mist. And for those of you that have never really dealt with mist filters, the best way to describe it is they just add a nice kind of blooming look to your video. This is really great tool to kind of add a nice tone and vibe to your video. And it kind of takes off that digital edge that you get a lot from your video. They're really, really great at blooming highlights. So you get a nice soft haze around your highlights. And they're also good when you're talking about people because it softens the highlight roll off when you're filming people. So it's a great thing when you're just shooting people even without shooting into lights, it just gives you a nice softer tone, kind of takes off that digital ed edge you get on a lot of modern cameras. And what's great about this is I can combine this with the NDs and get six to nine stop, or I can pop it on here. And let's say I want to go ahead and get the two to five. Well, just like that, it's just that easy. Boom, it's on there. And it's really that fast to set on there. But this isn't where the Freewell system stops. Not only does it have the VND and the mist filter, it's actually got circular polarizers built into it. And what's awesome about it is that it's actually got two circular polarizers built into it. And those circular polarizers are actually built on the flip side of R&D. So I can literally flip these around, voila, and you will see I have just a straight up circular polarizer and I have an ND32 circular polarizer. Both of these are something that I will personally use all the time in photography. For those of you that aren't aware of what a circular polarizer is and why you would need one in photography, so if I take a picture, say, of a house and I have the sky there, if you look there, as long as I'm at the right angle to the sun, if I turn my circular polarizer, you will see that it really brings out the beautiful color of the sky. The other area where you'll find your stuff using polarizers a lot is if you're dealing with reflections. And the great thing is because they deal with the angle of incidence that the light's hitting the lens at, you can actually really, really cut down and mostly eliminate polarizers in so many different settings. This is fantastic for architectural photography. It's fantastic for shooting people in vehicles. Basically, anytime you're dealing with glass, you're gonna wanna have a circular polarizer on set. And having one that is this fast is great. And the good thing about a polarizer is you want to be able to rotate it 180 degrees. And if you look on this side, there's no stop. I have the complete freedom to rotate this sucker 180 degrees. And what's awesome is they just have a straight up circular polarizer. But then this is what I really like here. This is the ND32 circular polarizer. And what I love about this, this basically gives me a neutral density 32 and it gives me the circular polarizer. Once again, you can see I have the full range to turn, but now what I can do as a photographer, this allows me to get a polarizer and it stops down the light so I can use things like the flashes and things I was talking about. It's also good because if you're a videographer, you may wanna be in a situation where you need to use that circular polarizer and you wanna bring the tone down and it's just nice to have that on there. Oh, and one other side note about the circular polarizer, just so you're aware of it, because these Freewell filters are magnetic and you're flipping them around, you're literally, you're literally reversing the magnet. So that means when you have the polarizer on here on the edge, your magnetic cap will not go. So if you wanna get the magnetic cap and you have it on there, all you gotta do is flip it like this, put it on, and then you will have your cap and you will be good to go. Just important to know if you are using the circular polarizer. Now, all Vario NDs will put a slight color cast when you're putting on them. That's just the nature of the game. These are really good. I, I found the color cast to be very, very slight, very, very easy to work with. And if it bothers you, you can easily either correct that in camera or you can correct that in post. I found it very, very easy. Now let's talk about what this system costs. Right now, this whole system, it costs $399 
for the whole set. And this is an incredible, incredible deal. I have a Tiffin Black Pro Mist, and that one filter alone cost me $148. So for one filter, I have paid almost half the cost of this. So the value of this is incredible. For $400, you can get literally an entire ND system that's going to cover almost every need you're gonna need as both a videographer and a photographer. And that is incredible. And I'll put up a list here so you can kind of see comparable prices of other filter systems. And you'll see even these systems right here, those are screw-on rings. And screw-on rings can be a pain because when it's cold outside, you just don't wanna deal with it. And guys, I've been out in the field lots of time and I hate wearing gloves trying to screw on filters. It's just such a pain. Having this quick ability to slap on and slap off is worth the price of a mission in my opinion just by itself but the fact that this gives you so many combinations at such a great price i would consider it a no-brainer this is something if you don't have a filter system you really need to look at getting something like this because it will completely change your level of game in how you're doing both video and in photography now because this is based on a ring system you have to decide what size filter system you are going to get now i would strongly recommend buying a little bit bigger size because you can easily get step-up rings and use this with no problem, but you don't want to be in a situation where you buy a smaller filter system and then you get a bigger lens, like this is an 82 millimeter from Canon, the 16 to 35. You want to be able to easily fit that on there and not worry about any vignetting. So really, that's what I have to say about this. I mean, <laughs> I really um, was really blown away using this. This thing is so versatile and so quick and so useful that I know for a fact that when I'm doing travel, especially travel, uh, product photography, stuff like this, this will always be in my bag because I can use it so quickly and I love the fact that it's great for video and I can use it great for photography. It covers all those bases and come on, man, it all fits in there. And it's pretty awesome. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much what I have to say about this. I would love to hear what you have to think about this. Please leave me any comments if you have anything down, to, down below. And uh, yeah, go out there, keep on shooting. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.